Okay, he mutes yourself. So it said on the thing that if you transfer host to a participant, it allows you 40 more minutes. So that, that did not work. <laughs> that sounds like that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, that is not true. Vanessa, do you want to um, just kind of go back to what you were saying? Uh, sure. Yeah, I was just saying that we, um, we are still doing some small groups, but we're trying to focus more on one-to-one -one visits um, because we're so limited to how many we can have for our groups. Okay. Um, All righty. But other than that, I mean, as the other um, lady said earlier, I mean, no two days are the same and we're just taking it day by day. We're, we're doing weekly calendars for each unit, but you know, sometimes that doesn't even work. We have to switch it up a little bit. Um, we've had a lot of families come to do window visits as well. Um, so we have a, a, a cordless phone that they're using to talk through the windows. So we've scheduled right many of those for families that aren't tech savvy. Um, a lot of tears shed. Um, it's been a very emotional time for just really everyone. Everyone. Yeah. I was just thinking um, earlier when we, about 10 minutes into the call on the last Zoom uh, before we got disconnected, that I know that we, before this happened, some of us were very close to the patients and the residents and their families. And I would imagine that right now that everybody in the facility is getting extremely close to the patients and the residents and the families because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, this barriers put up and they can't even touch them. I'm getting emotional, but they can't even touch them, you know, and hug them and love them. And uh, they depend on, uh, so when I say us, I mean you all, you know, for that. And even if, you know, I would imagine, I mean, I can't imagine being, like I said, working in the field, being one of you all right now and having to experience that, um, I'm sorry, the emotion of, those emotions that you're having to experience. And um, I hope that after all this is over with and it's said and done, uh, that the residents and the families will remember, will remember this and remember what you did for them. And uh, that those staff members that felt a certain way about patients because I know I know it happens and I know that there are certain staff that just don't have it in them that that weren't built for this that they will look at that resident a little different after this is all over and love them a little more so I oh, it's just I'm sorry I'm getting emotional I stop it um I just really I my heart goes out to you all and I said, you know, I had the luxury of sitting, sitting here and watching you work and it just touches me, you know, and there's no, there's no amount of words that I could ever say that would say thank you for being there for these people. You know, there's um, elderly people and children mean everything to me and I'm very passionate when it comes to elderly people and children and um, just just keep doing what you're doing because I know that I have faith and I believe that when this is when all is said and done that there will be less complaints um, less a whole lot of less um, in regards to complaints and things like that for these facilities. And I would put every bit of money I had on it to say that it's because of each of you 
that you're the ones that are making the difference. You're the ones, you're the cheerleaders that are going in and um, you're keeping, you're keeping hope alive and you're keeping the light in these facilities alive, you know, and I would, I always have always said, if you take out the activities, what do these people have? Imagine, imagine your facility today without an activity department. There would be a lot more deaths, I'm sure, <laughs> than there are right now. So thank you all. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get off my emotional box, but I had to say what I had to say. So. <laughs> um, Julie, you wanna talk a little bit since you're on? Julie's from Minnesota too. <laughs> Hi Minnesota. everybody. I was, yeah, Minnesota. I just peeps to my uh send out a hello to my peeps on the on the call tonight from Minnesota, Linda and Tish. Hey, good to have you. So yeah, I'm calling from Minnesota. So um it's I think, you know, as you were talking, Brian, and as everybody else is talking, and I've been stalking and sharing and things like that for my students. Um, some of you know who I am. I teach pretty much um fully, totally the an instructor for the MEPAC courses and degree program. But um, I think if there's anything that comes out of this on a positive note, kind of what Brian was talking about is that I think people will see the value of activities. We're not just the fun and games department anymore. We're not just the bingo people or the craft people. That I think some real true value and meaning of who we are as a profession, truly as a prep profession is gonna come out of this. You know, with every bad thing, there's there's going to blossom something new. And I think this is a real calling for our profession and what we're doing. So awesome. Um, I know, you know, I, I don't work in a facility because I teach, you know, um, totally online um, through a college, but all my students are experiencing the same thing. So I've been sharing things, telling them to go to the NCAP Facebook and NAP Facebook and just go out there because there's a ton of great stuff that that folks are doing. So Brian, a question for you. Are you doing these little videos every Tuesday night then pretty much? Or is this just- Every Tuesday online? night until COVID-19 is not, okay. is no longer in existence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. And so, you know, as an instructor, I'm having to, you know, alter and kind of change things up with, um, you know, assignments and with projects for students and whatever. So I'm going to have them pop online and, and give them extra credit for doing something like this. But yeah, it's 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 totally crazy. Even in the educational world, out of a college, we are totally closed down. Um, all instructors, from my perspective, have had to put everything totally online. Um, it's very much a deer in the headlights for these instructors who teach welding, auto mechanics, auto you know veterinary tech how do they deliver their their curriculum online and so i i have been nonstop zooming and helping them do training in our learning management system that um it's it's nonstop. so so my my i'm kind of tied on the other end how do we deliver the education to the students that didn't sign up for an online class now they have to all of a sudden deliver it virtually so um yeah it's 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 kind of crazy from my side of the world too but I see the challenges that our my students um, are, are are sharing, and I've actually created some discussion rooms for them just to share ideas that they've come across and are are um, doing in their facilities, sharing across with the students across the U.S. So, anything else you want me to talk about? Thank come you. to Minnesota next year for the next conference. Huh? Yeah, 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 sure, you betcha. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I even have. I don't know if you can see it on. I even bought a, a t-shirt that I was going to wear at the NAP conference to promote, to promote Minnesota. I don't know if you can see that. I got it on today. I was going to wear it at the NAP conference to promote Minnesota because it's in Minnesota next year, the NAP conference. But, oh, awesome. well. But, well, good thing about it is I won't be driving there this time. <laughs> You're going to fly. Good for you. <laughs> good for you. Uh, one thing I heard Julie mention was about something something is going to come up out of, I think you said something's going to come up out of the ashes. Is that what you said? No, it's just going to blossom. Things are going, going to bloom blossom. now with the new, new, yeah. I don't know if you all have this kind of store, but it's called the Bee Charmer. And basically it's a store that sells different types of honey. And when she was talking about something blossoming out of this, 
there's a you know what the phoenix is right it rises up out of the ashes well there's an actual honey that can only be harvested after a forest fire so after a forest fire there's a seed that that blooms and the bees are able to um get honey make honey from it but it's only after a forest fire mm -hmm. and then there's another one that uh, blooms only on the side of a volcano after it erupts so there are some beautiful things that well, there's some great analogies right there yeah do happen and they are amazing um, we, we have both of those honeys here and I tell everybody about them because I never knew that something like that could happen. So it can happen and it will happen and it's going to happen. It's just a little different method now. I was going to also add another comment and idea for those of you that were looking to get um, your staff involved in, in supporting the residents with activities and getting them to activities or doing whatever they might do. Um, the, the activity box is a great idea, but you can also do, and this is what I've done in the past when I was working in a facility, get those big rolls of tickets, you know, movie theater tickets or whatever, where you got the two sides with the numbers on. Every time you catch somebody doing something good or for activities, give them a ticket and it goes into a drawing. And then maybe at the end of the week, you draw for a $50 gas card or a Walmart card or a pack of toilet paper or whatever it might be. So. Um, you, you know, that would be another way. So they, they, their name goes into the pot and every week you can draw for maybe some bigger prizes and bigger, bigger rewards. Just a thought. Right. Good idea. Good idea. Before um, time gets away from me, if, is there anybody on here, if you, if you have not been to the NCAP page to see the COVID-19 tab, um, will you just let me know? If you haven't, and then I'll show it to you because I don't want to go back there again if everybody has seen it. Everybody's seen it? Okay. Yes, yes. Good. You don't have the chat option on your Zoom here, Brian, too. So, but, well, but yes, I've seen it. I'll have to, yeah, it's probably not enabled. We There was like 30, 40 people on here the first one, and I, I may have disabled it because there was only. A lot of people sending me stuff and I couldn't keep up. <laughs> but uh, let's see, where am I? Vanessa Wade. How would you like to unmute yourself and tell us how are things going? Sorry, I stepped out for a moment. Um, so yeah, I already talked to you. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. You, you moved around on my screen, so. I, Try to keep up with yeah. everybody. Thank you. I was, I was trying to multitask and do things <laughs> while and yeah. Appreciate it. Lori jo Johansson. Oh, she moved. Okay. L. McRae. How are things? There you are. Ryan, hi, Debbie. Um, I'm laying down today. I actually decided to take a day off. It's my birthday. I've been at work nonstop since March 15th. So I well, happy birthday. We Thank we should you. sing like one line of happy birthday. You ready? Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, McRae. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. So things have been going well. I am actually right before all this uh, quarantine stuff started, I had a new onset of new employees and most of them happen to be millennials. So they're really excited, you know, about, you know, getting on board and, they're, you know, at least we'll hang out and stick to it for the first 90 days. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but, um, you know, they, ha they come with fresh ideas and they're willing to do whatever it takes to help out. Um, we have been quarantined. Started, we started with um, 10 residents or less in a, group, in a group and six feet apart. And then starting um, last Saturday, we went to um, all everyone in their room quarantined. So 
Um, we're doing the hallway activities. We're doing snack carts, the grab and go bags. And, um, you know, with our company, we post things online and we have, um, I think it's called Workplace that we um, post things on. So we're open and sharing ideas. And we do have a great team of support folks that are very helpful. They're sending us stuff, they're sending us items so we don't really have to like shop for too much or worry about where we're gonna get this or get that, you know? So we, with the brainstorming and the ideas sharing um, through Zoom, um, they're getting to know more of what our issues are and what we need. So it's really been good with the support team helping out. Um, the, the other departments, you know, we're now in at eight o'clock instead of like my nine, nine o'clock staff. So we're in at eight o'clock so we can pass out breakfast, have passed breakfast out to the residents and then they get their carts ready. We meet for a little quick meeting. Okay, you go east, you go west, that type of thing. The only issue that we have, and I wanted to get on this call, um, because I saw the video about how to hook up the TVs and my ED has been trying, my maintenance director have been trying. We've gotten the video, but we can't get audio. Okay. Um, in regards to the audio, you have the adapter that was shown in the video? Um, I mentioned that to him. So he, I think he said he's going to go on Amazon and order it, but he's still thinking that there might be a way to finagle with it. And I keep telling him, watch the video, watch the video. He watched the video, but he just got to, you know, I can. For your audio, audio will only come from, if you are, if you're using one cord from your computer, audio is only going to work if it's an HDMI cable. HDMI transfers video and audio okay. if you're using anything else other than that you're you're going to have to have two different cables you're going to have to have the um i don't have one setting up here but you know the, the, the earphone the earphone jack okay you know so you have your headphones that have the cord that have the little plug yeah so you can buy one of those that has the plug on both ends so That's one end plugs into about. your laptop and then the other one plugs into an auxiliary hole somewhere either where you've got your cables plugged in or in on that little adapter box. Okay. All right. I believe that's what the maintenance director went and got, but it still didn't work. So we, we need to go get that adapter and an HDMI. And you also may have to um, change your sound settings to have the sound going through your headphone jack on your computer because sometimes it doesn't always recognize that if you're um if you're trying to do do it like that okay. so you have to go into your sound settings and manually make it choose the headphone jack for okay. sound all right so and, i'll if you go there, if you if you get it and you can't get it to work, feel free to record a video or preferably a video of your setup. And talk mm -hmm. me through it and then just send it to me on Facebook and let me look at it. Okay, great. That sounds okay. good. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Leah. How are you? How are things? What? What? I'll mute her for just a minute. I have, um, I don't know who they are, but it just says, there's three different iPhones, so I'm afraid to say iPhone and everybody's gonna come on. Let me go back to Leah again. Yes. Leah. Yes. Leah? You're the toys when I call it? Hello. What's the other size? <laughs> okay, um, I'm just going to say there's three different iPhones. Cristobal, if you'll hold on for one minute. I'm just going to say iPhone number one. I don't know who you are. I'm going to unmute you. Just start talking and then I'll tell you if you're on. Hi, I'm Nicole. Nicole, that's you. Okay, you're on. Hi. Um, I do want to say the resource sharing that everybody's doing everywhere, it has been a, a dramatic help through this, plus a lot of good ideas to pick up when the COVID-19 
is lifted and done. So it, it, it is refreshing to have, be able to share and have all the wonderful ideals. Um, we're making it through. Um, I had five staff members in my department and I'm down to one that will come to work. So that's mm. been a little bit of a struggle, but we also have the Eversound. I couldn't do the cable for the TV, but I fortunate enough, I have the Eversound. So we're doing able to do stuff in rooms, at least through the headphones that we can still get them to participate in a different way whether it's reading stories you know doing some sing-alongs from the door that type of stuff so um, we're working our way through it but it's really helped having all the resources and watching everybody but I do have one question there was somebody that was on here earlier that said something about um, having the staff members doing different tasks up the hallway I'd like to see if I get a little more information on that it's Rebecca oh maybe she's gone oh she's here go ahead Rebecca oh, I can't hear you though. You're talking, but nothing's coming through. And I have you unmuted. Talk now. <laughs> no, still can't hear you. <laughs> um down in the left hand corner of your screen it says micro there's a microphone if you click the arrow you should be able to select a microphone not working no um let's see uh nicole do you want to give um just say your email address to Rebecca and then she can email you? Absolutely. Um, it's N and then Cooper, C O O P E R at S T J S org. Uh, you cut out. What was um, after the at part? S T J S L dot org. Did you get it, Rebecca? Good deal. So, what was your question to Rebecca? Oh, um, when she did the staff up the hallway, she had them do different tasks. I'd just been being interested in knowing how she did that. A little okay. more information on it. Good deal. Look, us making it work. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Leah. Hello? I'm not sure she can hear me. Okay, so I'm going to unmute. Uh, the next iPhone, um, everybody that has listed as iPhone, just talk and I'll tell you if, it, if you're on. iPhone number two is unmuted. I don't hear anything. Nope, nothing. Okay. Do we talk to Mary? Mary's iPhone. Hello? She may have stepped away. Now I hear, an, I hear an iPhone, somebody's talking. Okay, I'm gonna pause. All right. Um, Anybody else have any any great, wonderful ideas that um, you've done that you haven't seen posted yet on social media that you would like to share? Everybody's muted. Don't everybody jump at one time. I have one. <laughs> sure, go for it. So we, in, in our community, we have three, three neighborhoods. So we have our assisted living, our bridges, and our memory care. And um, our AL residents, there are some of them who have met and linked up and are calling themselves couples now, quote unquote. So now with them being in their rooms, they can't see each other, speak to each other. So we started doing Zoom calls with them 
in addition to the family Zoom call. So it's really cool to see that, you know, they can still talk and they can still see each other. We drop off the iPad in their rooms and they can have their chat or whatever. Of course, we sanitize and everything and we take it out. But, <laughs> but it's really something that, you know, we see that is actually growing because they were very upset when we told them, you know, they couldn't dine together or they couldn't sit in the cafe and chat together anymore. They had to stay in their room. So we kind of came up with this idea that, you know what, if the families can do it, why can't the residents do it also? Once we have two devices, we drop it off in their room, we give them a specific time and you have, you know, 20 minutes or whatever, you guys can chat and, you know, they've been really, really enjoying it, looking forward to their time. So if anybody- That's wanted, awesome. That's fun. Will you please uh, post that idea on the Facebook page? On, I can. Um, yeah, that I would greatly appreciate that because I yeah, think- I believe it's on, it's, it's on our um, our Facebook page, our Terrace More Explained. So if anyone want to pull that up, they can look at it. But I'll, I'll post it tomorrow when I go back. Okay, perfect. I can tell you when you're posting things on the NCAP Facebook page, you can also list it as a topic. Um, and then the, the topic's already created for uh, COVID-19. So later in life, um, we can go back 10 years from now and click on the COVID-19 and see what we all did. Everything we posted in regards to COVID-19 will be under that specific um, tab. So, anybody else have anything you'd like to add? Well, I don't, I don't know if this is something that others have done or not, but we've had a lot of parents contact us with their kids wanting to do something to help. Um, and a lot of them wanted to... Um, they wanted to write letters, but we were really concerned about a lot of out, you know, out mail coming in. Um, so what I've been having the, the kids and the families do is send them to my email and I'm printing them from there and passing them out to residents. So today we received our first set of letters. I think there were about five different letters and, and pictures that the kids had, had drawn. So I don't know, maybe that's something others have done. Um, also, I, I wanted to see if there were any other ideas of, of what you all have been allowing the kids to do for the residents. Because they, they're at home. They want to do something. They want to feel like they're making a difference. I just feel like we're so limited to what we can have coming in the building. Are they able to, um, are you able to utilize Zoom with them in order for them to like maybe read, read to the residents? That's an idea. Resident. Um, I think that that's something that you can do is have them to read or sing. Um, okay. And if they don't want to do Zoom, they can record um, and send it to you. Hopefully, it'll come through to your email. Um, yeah. You can play it that way. Okay. Anybody else have? Some suggestions for that? Um, for the kids, I am having them submit stories and the residents and the staff get to vote on them. And we are Zooming and letting the kids read to them. They really like it. Okay. Awesome. Anybody else? Thank you. Well, I guess, um, seems like I think we're winding down. It's probably bedtime. We need to uh, relax just a little bit. Please remember to take care of yourselves. It's very important. Um, if we can't take care of ourselves, we can't take care of those that are around us. Um, and just know that we are here for you. Um, Nat's here for you. We're all here for you. So um, if you need us, reach out to us. If you need to just vent, vent to us. Um, if you need a virtual hug, just hop on this call and we'll virtual hug you, whatever we have to do. And uh, on behalf of NCAP, we definitely appreciate everything that you all are doing out there. And um, just know that it doesn't go unnoticed and we appreciate it so much and just keep swimming
all we can say is just keep swimming. Take it day by day. Take some deep breaths in and out. And um, just keep up the good work. Debbie, you have anything else? She's just shaking her head. Yeah, nope. Okay. Julie, you have anything else you want to add? Bedtime. Bedtime. No, I'm, I'm good. It's, yep, yeah, it's, everybody I think is exhausted from their days and I can't imagine why, but you know, but it, there's, there's always a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow and we're going to be sitting nicely in that pot of gold when we get through this as a group, as a team, as a profession. Um, and so it, it, it's tough and, um, but we can do it. We're, we're resilient. So right. thank you, Brian, for doing this. This is really You're welcome. Um, I'm yep, going to pass on the word and tell students here's some extra credit opportunities. That's right. It's, it's a great, I think it's a great thing. I mean, I know um, if some of the stuff might be repetitive, but it just gives us an opportunity to get together and to share the frustrations, but also share the, the things that we're doing and the wonderful things we're doing and um, just to know that we're not alone in this. And yeah, absolutely. See each other absolutely. is important. So, thank you all so much. I hope you all have a restful night and a great rest of the work uh, week. And just keep swimming. Have a good one. Bye.